They will sign autographs. They will hug you and pose for pictures. It's back, people. Like, it is back. Hey everyone, Dan and Leslie back again for another Disney Dining Review. Hey guys, so today we are headed to um, kind of a hard to get, much anticipated dining review option, which is storybook dining at uh, Artist Point, which is over at Wilderness Lodge. Let's take that collar off, Kitty. Fun to know where she is any other time other than when we're recording. I was able to pick this reservation up at 8 a.m. this morning for a 4.10 p.m. reservation for two. I tried to get four because I thought the kids might want to come with us, but there was only the one reservation. This is super hard to come by. The lesson here is that if you don't get the advanced dining reservation that you want 60 days out, keep checking because people do cancel those as they get closer, so they're not charged the fee for not showing up. We have been to this uh, dining experience once before, um, pre-COVID, and the characters, now that it's a little bit more normal again, I'm super excited. Uh, we have not yet been to a park since we've been able to hug characters, so I'm excited to... You gonna hug the evil queen? I don't know. <laughs> this was a really, really fun meal and experience with characters when we went before. We will kind of compare it to that, but really we're gonna evaluate it on its own merit. It was the actual, the service before was a little slow, but we went late at night. Here, we're gonna be one of the first diners in the place because it is dinner only, so it should open at four. Let's talk about the price. Okay, so it is a pre-fixed meal. So you have shared appetizers, shared desserts, and then everybody gets to pick their own entree. It is $60 per adult plus tax and then $39 per child. So children are three to nine. It is a little bit on the pricier side, but it is a character meal and it is dinner and they've actually got some pretty good things from my opinion on the menu. One of the entrees is a prime rib, which like that automatically elevates it for me. So <laughs> I'm telling you right now, that's probably what I'm gonna get. <laughs> Whether they recommend it or not. Yeah. And the prefix meal comes with an appetizer, an entree and a dessert. Yes. And so they have some very unique, interesting drinks as well. I think that there's some really great options like Dan said, as far as the entrees go. So he mentioned the prime rib, but there's also um, some great options like a uh, fish. There's a, uh, a vegetarian stroll through nature option. There's chicken, definitely some good things. It's a shared appetizer thing where you get all three and then you choose one entree and then the dessert is the a shared thing as well. Uh -huh. The desserts are shared. It's a miner's treasure, which is like a cookies and cream panna cotta, mm -hmm. uh, fairy tale gooseberry tart, poison apple, which is a dark chocolate apple mousse and sour center, and then the hunter's gift to the queen. So if you know what that is. <laughs> it's not a real one, though. <laughs> All right, so we are about uh, time to go. So are you yeah. ready to, to do this? Let's do it. All right, let's go. Enchanted Forest, my name's Andre. She's <laughs> naked. <laughs> and no white! They will bring out our um, shareable appetizers and they put it on this cute little tree because you're in a forest. And so you'll have, we have three different appetizers that get brought out and they get placed here. They put the desserts on the tree as well. Uh, whenever those come out. So the shareable things, this kind of just is like the platter. I really like the fact that you only have to choose your drink and your entree because all of the work for the appetizers and desserts are already done for you. The drinks came out super fast, like lightning fast. It was impressive. 
It's actually really good. The old fashioned, it's like, it's like a nod to an old fashioned, but um, has a, a very, very strong peach flavor to it, which I'm not used to, plus this melted sugar on the side that you can kind of get a little bit of that. I'm impressed. I got the evil to the core, which is like a nod to a margarita. That has so many different like layers to it. So I can I got the immediate kick of the habanero, but then there's like the sweetness of the berry too. That is really good. <laughs> it's a really good drink. Also, very, very quickly, the appetizers came out. And so they put them on this tray here that rotates. Mushroom bisque. Mm. You have to like mushrooms to like this. Very, very mushroomy, but if you like mushrooms, it is really, really good. Really good. We have the Hunter's Pie. This one is a turkey and chicken, black truffle, cranberry preserve, and crispy sauerkraut. The soup was better. The, um, the puff pastry on this thing is pretty thick and dense and pretty dry, um, so that's like not really appealing. Okay, so the shrimp cocktail is one shrimp per person, but it's a good sized shrimp. Um, the cocktail sauce is like pre, pre, pre applied, I guess. Pretty much your basic shrimp cocktail. The star yeah. of the show is definitely the mushroom bisque. Yeah. Please give a big welcome to Brumpy and Dumpy. Character hug. First character meet and greets where hugs are back. I wasn't expecting for Dopey to make me so emotional. My beef stroganoff came. It's cottage beef stroganoff. It looks different than any stroganoff I've ever had, but I'm excited. Mm. Really flavorful. The beef is super tender. I guess that's the spatzel, so it's like in place of noodles. Very tasty. I got the prime rib. Um, it comes with prime rib, and then a horse radish uh, mashed potato, and then this giant roll, which looks a little overdone, but is actually pretty fluffy. It's interesting. I don't know. I can taste the egg in it. The horse radish potatoes are quite good. Prime rib. I asked for medium rare. It appears to be cooked very well. Very good. Definitely cannot complain about this. This is good. I will say, as it fills up, it is getting more and more uh, loud in here. So the noise, it is definitely a busy character dining type of experience. Uh, something that's probably to be expected from character meals, but just so you know. Hello. Oh, hi. So nice to see you both today. Are we having a lovely time in the forest? Yes, very lovely. Oh, lovely. Is this your princess? Yes, oh, she, she is. is. <laughs> did you wish for him in a wishing well? I did. You did? Oh, it must be true love then, I'm sure. Could you like a portrait together yes. too? <laughs> so this is the miner's treasure. It has a little dopey hat on it. Um, it's a cookies and cream panna cotta. This one over here is the poison apple. A dark chocolate apple mousse with a sour center. This one is the fairy tale gooseberry tart. Mmm. That's a lot better than I thought it would be. I know. It's not bad, but it's like a... Um, Chocolate mousse, like an apple sour thing. This one's gift to the queen. What was it? 
Pig's heart. Pig's heart, yeah. There you go. What do we got? Oh, we got chocolate hearts. Very well. There's all the gooseberry inside. It comes out warm. It's almost like a warm apple pie, but with like a berry, gooseberry filling. By royal decree, our presence has been requested by Her Majesty. We hope we're not in trouble. That's much better when it's just me, don't you think? Come now, one more, one more. Let me okay. see myself. One more, one more. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I love to look upon myself. And this is the servant boy. Yeah, uh, yes, sure. Yes, that's what you keep him around for. Yes. Yes, to serve. Correct. Sure. That's yes. me. I have yes. two little servant boys at home. Two little servant boys. I know. That's what I always say, the kindest and fairest of them all. <laughs> she is lovely. I adore meeting the villains. Um, you know, they're always kind of terrifying, but she plays it up so well. So Dan is my servant boy, apparently. <laughs> She really does spend a lot of good quality time with you though. So I mean you feel like it's not like you felt like you were being rushed through just for a picture. She like chatted with us for a good solid two or three minutes and that was it was nice. Okay, we are back from Storybook Dining at Artist Point. I feel like you always start off like that and it's because we're so full. <laughs> Before we get into this thing, if you guys would like someone to help you plan your next magical vacation, we'd love to help. Yes, please find us over at fantasticalvacations.com. As always, every vacation that we book is free of charge to you. We do not charge fees. Before we really get into the meat and potatoes, I had meat and potatoes. <laughs> we need to talk for a second about character dining in particular. It's the same rating scale, but they are taken with a little bit different lens because really these are people factories. They're very specifically meant to get people as through these restaurants as quickly as humanly possible, get them fed, get them to meet characters, and then get the heck up on out of there. You're paying for the experience. You're paying for the character yeah. part of that, not necessarily fine dining. So. This is the first time I've hugged a character since the like hugging has been back. I cried a little bit. I was not expecting that because my first character was uh, Dopey and I just, you know, don't really have some sentimentality with Dopey or anything, but whew, there's something special about it. <laughs> Let's start, as always, with ambiance and theming. As you walk in, they have added all of these like tree branches to make it mm -hmm. seem like you're eating in a forest. It's very, it's pretty well done. They have lights in the trees that, mm -hmm. that light up different colors depending on the character that's coming out. Lanterns up there. The way it works is that Snow White, Grumpy, and Dopey, Sleepy, Dopey? Dopey. Dopey, come <laughs> around to the tables and First they dance through and walk through quickly and then they come through each individual table. They will sign autographs. They will hug you and pose for pictures. It's back people, like it is back. You do not get to go see the Evil Queen until you're done with your meal. You, yeah. Your server will give you like this little pass and you can take that up once you've paid or right before you pay and meet the Evil Queen, get your picture taken. Uh, they have a photo pass photographer there and you can take selfies, you can do whatever you want. She loves selfies. <laughs> we did expect ambiance and theming to be superb because really that's what you're paying for with a character environment. I'd say four and a half for sure, I mean, we had some great character interactions. Um, I got a little tearful with Dopey, and then um, Snow White, she just like chattered for the longest time. They don't break character at all. They're just incredible. Grumpy um, tried to steal my, or our desserts, and uh, then started saying that he had his eyes on me. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the queen, I like, I was taking a selfie with her, and she was like looking at herself in the camera, and she's like, oh, I look so good. I agree four and a half it's like the perfect mix of character meet and greets where uh, three of them come around to the tables and that's a little bit quicker although it doesn't feel rushed mm -hmm. but then you have the one where you go wait in line and you get plenty of time with the queen plus a photo pass photographer like i really think that this is a very very well done character meal yeah yeah okay so service yeah so our server was fantastic he did a really really great job um i mean he was very attentive you actually have so you have like your server that that takes your order of your entree um kind of describes everything and explains it all and does your drink order and everything and then you have your um the people that come out and actually deliver the food so that's somebody different um, but they cleaned the table promptly they were bringing food out promptly it was very good the drinks were l lickety split like right out split. <laughs> the appetite came, then our entrees came, then the desserts came, then we got the evil queen and it was like on point. I'm gonna give it a four. Like yeah. 
Uh, they, they put, for a character meal, they knocked it out of the part on service. Yeah, they did a great job. Drinks, drinks are next. I was very impressed. Um, so, you know, a lot of times with these kind of gimmicky themed drinks, it's not anything really special. They just threw like a, a themed name on a normal margarita or whatever. Well, and just character meals in general, like a lot of times there's, they're all you care to enjoy. So they're like a buffet or they're bringing it to yeah. the table and there aren't any themed drinks. I mean, it was just completely different than anything else that I've ever had anywhere else. And so it, I was very impressed. And they weren't super expensive. Both of our yeah. drinks were $13 as, as compared to like the $17, $18 drinks at some of these other places. <coughs> Space 220. <laughs> <laughs> you said we weren't going to compare. I would say a four. Yeah, I would agree with that. Okay, let's get into food. So with food, you have your shared appetizers. You get three of those. As you saw on the video, um, we really liked the mushroom bisque, but if you don't like mushroom, Mushrooms. You're kind of out of luck. Yeah, our entrees were really they're good. good. They were they were good. It wasn't um, the best prime rib I've ever had, but it also wasn't the worst. It yeah. was solid. It, the temperature was well prepared, um, but again, not like over the top amazing entrees. I would say it's definitely better than the average character meal experience food quality wise yes. and taste wise. I also really like the presentation. I love the fact yes. that you- With the little tree. The tree is awesome. The fact that you get tastes of three different appetizers yes. and tastes of four different desserts and you don't have to make any decisions. It's just there, it's done, which makes it easier for the kitchen, which makes the service better. I like it. If I compare it to other character meals, food quality wise, it's, it's probably better. up there. Yes. If I compare it to like fine dining experiences like last week. Okay, so this is $60 a person plus the $13 each for the drink. Now we did get a 10% discount on the food for being um, an annual pass holder, but still it's pretty expensive. Personally, I think above average, yeah. especially if you compare it to other character dining experiences, but not like great food at Disney. There's better food. So I'm gonna say three and a half. I would agree with that. All in all, if you calculate that all up, then you get a four. <laughs> I think. Not eight, not eight, just four. <laughs> I really think that that's a solid, that's a solid number for this. I mean, it was definitely yeah. an above average character experience. It's a little bit more elevated. I think we've done every non princess character meal, character dining experience on property. Yes. Um, so like, I would say the Bon Voyage breakfast at Trattoria Al Forno. Oh, was, which is not back yet. It's not back yet, but that was probably my favorite. And yeah. I'd say this is probably second. Like this is a great character dining experience. As far you, as princess ones go. Yeah. As far as any of them go. Well, yeah. I, I really, this, yeah. this rivals pretty much anything. And the queen, like when else do you get to have like quality time with the evil queen, right? That's the other thing. It's, they're, the characters are different. Yeah. So it's not like a Chef Mickey's where you're meeting Mickey as opposed to Tusker House, where you're meeting Mickey, as opposed to- uh, Garden Grill. Garden where Grill, where you're meeting Mickey. Mickey. <laughs> so- <laughs> Topolina's Terrace. Where you're meeting Mickey. <laughs> Thanks for coming along with us as always, and make sure you click that like and subscribe button so you don't miss the next dining review, because I don't know where it's gonna be, but it's gonna be great. We will see you on the next video.